Now the focus of this tutorial will be again be upon VLOOKUPs, there will be some more complex if statements uh, thrown in as well. So again, quite a busy task, lots of comments for us to look at and follow. The first one is all about formatting, so let's make sure all our cells are formatted for currency. Here as well. Good, and they are. So the first one here is a lookup. We're trying to find the cost in relation to a code. So V lookup. Now the lookup value, what is it we want to find out? Well, we want to find out how much a magazine costs. And the cost is in direct relation to a code. So we want to look up A. Table array, that's where you want to look for it. Like so. And don't forget to absolute cell reference your array. Otherwise, when you copy down, you'll get uh, wrong answers. Column index, that is where you want to look at it. And that is again in the second column. There may be three, four, or five columns. It could get more complex, but in this case, there's only two. Now, range lookup. As we said before, sometimes you'll have to write false in here. Because this area here with our A's and B's doesn't flow in an alphabetical order, you have to have false, otherwise you'll get a wrong result returned. Put in false, click OK, and copy on down. Now, just to make sure our results are correct, for our E's we've got 499, for D's 399, A99 pence, and so on and so forth. Cost of order, this should be really simple, really clear for anyone who's doing higher just now. It is equals, it is your cost multiplied by the number ordered. So the number of however, however many one costs multiplied by the number of the actual order. Discount given. Now in cell F5, write a formula to display yes if the amount ordered is more than £500 and no if it is not so. You get a discount if they've ordered £500 or more. It's not £500 in terms of costs, but the number they've actually ordered. So click on FX. It's an if statement. Now the logical test, what cell do we want to examine? What cell do we have to look at? So we have to look at number purchased. So if D5 is greater than or equal to 500, they are getting a discount. So the answer is yes. And if not, the answer is no. So quite simply, if D5 is greater than or equal to 500, yes, they get a discount, or no, they don't. And we can see there, yes, there is some who have a discount and some that do not. Now, discount amount. Let's make sure that's formatted for percentages. And take it down to no decimal places. Now, you could work this out in your head, but we have to do it with an if statement because you've got two variables here. Either they get a discount or they don't get a discount. Now, if, in this case, F5 is equal to yes, and again, remember, we have to use speech marks if we're using words. You will have the cost times discount to give us 10%. And if it's false, it is just equal to the initial cost of the order. So if F5 is equal to yes, you'll have E5 times F2. Don't forget to absolute cell reference the F2. And if there's no discount, then it is just zero, actually. So there's no discount. Push OK and copy on down. So let's see, those who are no did not get a discount and those who are yes have 10%. And your total cost is going to be quite simply be your cost of your order, take away whatever your 10% actually is. Copy down the column, then add up the total. And there we go. So quite a lot of formula there, if we're honest. We had a different sort of VLOOKUP, this time using the false criteria. We had an statement based upon uh, terms, so based upon being greater than £500 returning yes or no. 
we had an if statement involving a calculation and we had a simple multiplication to finish with.